even if the famous birther claim recently brought back into the headlines when it was reiterated by Donald Trump were true that Barack Obama was not born in Honolulu but was in fact born in Kenya which there's no reason to believe by the way but let's just say for the sake of argument that that were true it's completely irrelevant Barack Obama would still be a natural born citizen and would still be eligible to serve as President of the United States. <sighs> what an asshole. Here's the thing about what I just said in that clip. Uh, it's not true. The statute that I quote as the basis of, of the argument that I make in that video, that it's essentially the entire argument, was amended to its present form in 1986, which means that the version of the statute that I read in that video did not apply to Barack Obama was not in effect when he was born. The earlier version of the statute that was in force when uh, Barack was born in 1961 had a more stringent requirement. And when that when that uh, statute was in effect, in order for a child born outside of the United States to be a citizen uh, whose parents were one citizen and one alien as Brock was, his mother was a citizen, his father was uh, an alien enrolled in college. Uh, the citizen parent, in this case Barack's mother, uh, had to be a United States resident for no less than 10 years and no less than five of those years would have to have been after the age of 14. Now, uh, Ann Dunham was four months shy of her 19th birthday when Barack Obama was born, which means that had he not been born in the United States, he would not have been a natural-born American citizen. Now, there are other statutes that establish that he would have been automatically naturalized and been an American citizen, but he would not be a natural-born citizen and therefore would not be eligible to be President of the United States. All of which I would have known beforehand had I bothered to read the notes at the bottom of the statute, which is something you should always do. I didn't read the notes at the bottom of the statute. I assumed wrongly that uh, Title VIII, Section 1401, as it is currently in force, applied to Barack Obama, born in 1961, when in fact it only applies to people born from 1986 onward. So, I want to completely retract what I said in that video the previous video. It was wrong. It was incorrect. It is not a good argument. Uh, I apologize to anyone who may have taken that, that information and run with it. Uh, bad argument. Wrong, complete mistake on my part. So, oops. Um, having said that, I can only reiterate even stronger than in the previous video. The one thing that I spoke about in that video that I did get right, which is that there is no reason for anyone to believe that Barack Obama was born anywhere other than uh, Kapiolani Hospital in Honolulu, Hawaii. There is a huge and conclusive body of evidence that Barack Obama was born in Honolulu, Hawaii. There's no evidence, no evidence of any kind that he was born in Kenya or anywhere else, or that he uh, lost his citizenship somehow because of the family's residence many years later in Indonesia. All of that is bogus. The fact remains Barack Obama is a natural born citizen because he was born in the United States. And to the birthers who responded to my previous video, uh, to two of whom I actually owe a thank you because they pointed me in the direction of uh, what led me to this correction, um, I just make to you the challenge to do the same thing that I'm doing here. 
look at your arguments, check them factually, check them through objective sources, not WorldNet Daily, not Donald Trump, not Alex Jones, but objective factual sources. And if you find that your arguments are incorrect, if you find that your arguments are not based on good information or on facts, I challenge you and I ask you to please do the honest thing and stop making those arguments. Because I believe if you do that, you will find that there is no compelling reason to believe that Barack Obama was not born in the United States. There's just nothing there. The claims are completely without merit. But that doesn't mean that the argument that I made in the previous video was excusable at all. There's no excuse for that. I, I apologize. I retract it completely. Don't use that argument. If someone comes up to you and they are a birther and they claim that Obama is not a natural born citizen, don't cite Title VIII, Section 1401. It doesn't apply. Point them instead to the mountain of evidence, the massive body of evidence that Barack Obama is a natural born citizen because he was born in the United States.